Big one, big one, big one. Courtney, no, 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 that's the one. Holy, Courtney, look at that thing. He's like a dinosaur. It's like seven inches wide. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we are fishing a tournament. Courtney and I, her first tournament of the year. If you guys watched last year, she fished one with me. We got third place. So we are looking for Courtney's first tournament win. Sorry about the outboard running to you guys. It's probably really loud for you, but we are idling to the first spot of the day. Uh, the lake that we're fishing today is only about 100 acres. There's three boats out here, but there's also another lake across the street that there's like 10 or 15 boats fishing. We're all competing against each other, even though we're on two separate lakes. So we got to choose where we wanted to fish. There's some absolute giants in here, guys. I saw one of the biggest bass that I've ever seen in my entire life yesterday when I was practicing. Uh, we're about to roll up on that spot. It was like a six or seven pounder, and as I was reeling a 10 inch bass in, it came up and tried to eat it. So we're gonna go there, try to catch that fish, and then other than that, there's a ton of dinks in here, so we're gonna be having non-stop action all day long, but we need to find five over 14 inches, so stick around, stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you do, please hit that thumbs up button. That means a ton to me, guys. And uh, if you guys are not already subscribed, we post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We're doing a ton of tournaments, so a lot of tournament videos coming your way, but let's get into it, guys. We need five big bites. So really quick, right before we get into this tournament, you guys have to see this clip from practice. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Guys, you have no idea. This is like a six or seven pound bass. It's literally trying to eat this bass that I have hooked on right now. Oh my gosh, it's one of the biggest bass I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my freaking lord. Oh my gosh, dude. It literally just nosed up to this thing. There's like a seven pounder right there. That's one of the biggest bass I've ever seen in my entire life. There's like a three or four pounder. There's a couple like little one and two pounders and then there's like a legit seven pounder. I'm not even freaking playing guys. Oh my Lord, dude, we need, to, we need to catch this fish. I still see it, it's way out there. The water's super clear. That's a freaking nature guys. She's right there. I don't know if she's guarding fry or what, but she's sticking around. Uh, little one's got it. Little one's got it. Dude, every time I hook one of these little ones too, it freaking, it gets that big one fired up. Hold on. Dude, oh my gosh, that's the biggest bass I've ever seen in my entire life. In Michigan, sorry. It's one of the biggest bass I've ever seen in Michigan. I saw an absolutely giant bass swimming around and I flipped my drop shot at it and tried to catch it. And I know I probably shouldn't have done this because it was practice and you want to try to catch the fish in the tournament. Obviously, that's that's the goal, that's the plan. But when you see a six or seven pounder in Michigan, you have to try to catch it. Like, I don't know if that fish is going to be there tomorrow. I might not see a fish like that all year long. I might not see a fish like that for five years in the state of Michigan. So I flipped my drop shot at it and I feel a bite. So I set the hook and I'm reeling in this tiny little fish. It was not the seven pounder. And that thing came up and tried to freaking eat it. Unbelievable. And I got a way better look at it too. I'm like, dude, that's legit like a seven pound bass. So in my heart, in my mind, I was like, all right, we need to leave this fish alone. We need to try to come back here and catch this fish in the tournament tomorrow. Okay, boys and girls, we are having a lot of technical difficulties right now. Uh, two times I thought my camera was rolling, but it was not. But Courtney just caught her probably third or fourth fish of the day. I've caught like three or four fish in the day. I have one in the box right now that is a very close line burner, but we're gonna check Courtney's. I think that this one's gonna be a little short court. But we'll check him. It's a long and skinny looking one. Yeah, he's about 13 and a half inches. So like I said, we are looking for 14 inches right there. That's Courtney's biggest one of the day, but I have one little line burner that we have in the box right now. We're both throwing drop shots all over this little sandy flat and this little steep break, but if you guys want to check out the Ego Bump Board, this thing is about to get a freaking workout today. Let me tell you, we're going to be bumping a lot of short fish and uh, hopefully a lot of keepers as well. But we need to probably call out the one that I have in the box right now. Not a very big one. And uh, we need to get five keepers in the boat, guys. The camera situation should be good now. Apparently that battery was dead and I kept hitting the button thinking that it was recording, but for some reason it wasn't. So we're good to go now and you guys are going to see the rest of the day. Promise you. Got one? Got one, Cordy? What do you got? Oh, is it a decent one? Uh, here, get him here, right here. He's not big. He's not big. He's not big. He, he, when you were reeling it in, he got it. Boom, baby! We're on freaking giants. <laughs> there we go, guys. And it's another dink. It is another dink. So, ladies and gentlemen, don't know what you guys have seen so far, because like I said, we had some technical difficulties with the GoPro early on, but 
Courtney probably caught like six or seven fish. I've probably caught like six or seven fish. And uh, a lot of them have been that size right there. So, and the fish just pooped all over my hand. So that's awesome. Courtney and I caught a ton of fish on a drop shot, probably like 20 or 30 fish, but we could not get a keeper bite to save our lives. So I decided I was gonna pick up the frog and stick, go back in this pocket and try to do some work on some bigger fish. Got him on the frog. Come on, baby. That one might keep. Get in the boat. Courtney is taking a nap. We just got crushed on a frog. I don't know if it's gonna keep or not. It's probably a 13 incher because why would it be a keeper? <laughs> Guys, we've caught like 20 fish already today. And uh, we have, like I said, maybe one keeper in the box. And once again, here we go. Check this out. What do we got here? It's another like psh, 13 and seven eighths. Awesome, not a keeper. Sweet, awesome, freaking awesome. It was really fun to catch that fish on a frog though, I'm not gonna lie. So I caught a few fish on a frog, but still no keeper, so I decided I was gonna go back out to the main lake and pick up a jig, try to get a bigger bite out there instead. Oh my goodness. Courtney, that one might keep. Eh, no. <laughs> There he is. <laughs> so at this point, we have one fish in our live well that I'm not even 100% sure is a keeper. It was a barely, barely, barely squeaker. I'm throwing the jig, trying to get a bigger bite, catching all the same size dinks over and over and over again. But then something pretty cool happened right here. We need to get five bass in the boat. We're like halfway through the day and this happens. Wow, that's a huge mark on the grab. Got him. Got him, Courtney. It feels pretty big, not gonna lie. Oh, I think, no, 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 it's a keeper. It's a keeper. Dude, I just video game fish. That's the first fish I video game fish on that graph. Get him, get him. That's, that should keep, eh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be really close. <laughs> I had a huge mark on the graph. That was the first one since I got these Helix 7s that I freaking video game fish one. That's so cool. That's gotta be a keeper. Oh yeah, easy. That one's an easy 14 and a half intro right there. Do you want to put that in behind you? Hold them tight. Don't let that one get away. <laughs> So fast forward to 11.10, there is 50 minutes left in this tournament, less than an hour. And this is where things get freaking wild. We're fishing the area where I saw that absolute freak of nature the day before in practice. And all of a sudden I look down and it's about 10 feet away from the boat in about eight to 10 foot of water, super clear water. I see a giant black blob and I flip my jig in front of it. And this is what happens. Oh, big one, big one, big one, big one. Courtney, no, 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 that's the one. That's the freaking one. Courtney, get in there. Courtney, Courtney. Oh my God. Oh my freaking God. Courtney, that's the freaking one that I saw. Oh my freaking God. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. I told you guys at the beginning of this video yesterday, I saw like a freaking seven pounder over here and I just freaking caught it. No joke, boys. Oh my, dude, that's the biggest bass I've ever caught in the state of Michigan by far. A giant bass, a freaking giant bass. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Corny. Corny! Corny! <laughs> Dude, it was sitting on that same stalk of grass that I saw it on yesterday when I was here. And I just saw like I just saw I just saw like a giant black blob and I flipped my jig over there and all of a sudden the black blob disappeared and my jig was running to the right. Dude, that's a seven pounder. That's I told I told you it was a seven pounder. Yes, dude, 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 dude. Yes. Oh my God, I'm shaking. Yeah, they're good. They're all good. Courtney, I'm gonna freak, dude. 
No. Yeah, they're fine. Everything's good. Everything is perfect, Cordy. Everything is freaking perfect right now. Wow. Boys and girls, I am shaking right now. As you guys just saw, we just put one of the biggest bass that I've ever caught in my life. That's probably top three, and maybe it might be the second biggest. It might be second only to the 10 pounder that I caught in Texas. I think that that fish is gonna go seven pounds, give or take. And I saw that fish yesterday. I came out here for two hours pre-fishing, and just now, like I was explaining a little bit, I saw like a little black blob sitting up in this patch of grass. I flipped my jig out there, and all of a sudden my line was running to the right set hook, and I can't believe that just happened, dude. <laughs> Courtney's looking at me like I'm crazy right now, but you guys know, if you guys are watching this video, you know how crazy that is, especially for being a Michigan bass. That is one of the biggest freaking Michigan bass I've ever seen in my life. Absolute freaking nature. And we've got four in the box right now. One or two are really close line burners, and uh, I don't even care about that at this point, guys. We have big bass wrapped up. Not a freaking chance anyone beats that. So uh, we're gonna keep fishing and uh, see what happens here. <laughs> oh my God, I'm dying, dude. Okay, <laughs> we're good. Okay, boys and girls, we are at the weigh-in. We are only weighing in two fish. The other two did not quite make the cut. So we have this fish right here. You guys probably saw me catch a little 14 and a half incher. Woo! Gonna put that one in the bag. And then uh, we got another one. <laughs> and then we got this one right here. Oh my freaking Lord. Check out this fish. That one right there. And that's what I'm talking about, boys. So we're gonna get this fish to the scales and see what we're dealing with here, but that one's gonna be over six pounds. The Ugh. size difference between the those two. The size difference between L those two is something. Get that one on. Jig. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> I only got two of them, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's bigger than six. I think it's over six. That, that's bigger than six. I thought when I caught it, I thought it was about seven. Dude, that's got eyes of fish in Mexico. It's over seven. Holy, poor Charlie, look at that thing. God, dude. He's like a dinosaur. It's like seven inches wide. Yeah. Did you get on film? Yep, all on camera. It's really awesome. I love it if we're done on yep. Facebook. That one fish has all these little feet. Oh my feet. gosh. You sure that's what you want to weigh for big fish? Yeah, I'll take that one. Take that Hold one for on. big bass. I, I got to pick it up just because I want to hold one. Right. <laughs> Woo! I was bow number 10. That thing's gotta be 30 years old. Oh my gosh. Two. <laughs> 684. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Almost seven. Oh Almost seven. 812 total. <laughs> That's why he's over here smiling when he brings in two fish. 6.84 on the scales. Dude. There she goes. That's a freak of nature. Freak of nature. See you later, big girl. Second place. Do they have, wait a minute, <laughs> second place. Did you guys only have two fish? <laughs> With 812. <laughs> Going to Billy and Courtney. <laughs> Good job. And it was a two four pounder. <laughs> <laughs> it was a seven pounder and a liner. Oh, big bass. Going six. 84. Had an absolutely awesome time out there, guys. I legitimately cannot believe that happened, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. It was just unreal. I'm super happy that my fiance was able to be there with me, even though she was asleep when I set the hook on that fish, but she got that thing in the net. She scooped it up that Ego S2 slider, and my heart was full of joy because I legitimately thought that that fish was gonna get off, guys. I, I just can't believe that it went down the way that it did. I can't believe that I caught that fish, and I've probably said it like 50 times in this video, but it's not every day that you catch a fish that big. I don't think I'll ever beat that fish in the state of Michigan in a tournament ever in my life. 6.84 pounds in this state, especially like in the middle of summer, like not in the pre-spawn is just unheard of. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I Just thinking about it right now, it just, I, I can't believe it, so. I will catch you guys in the next one. A lot more tournament videos on the way, guys. We post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Make sure that you guys are subscribed. And if you guys like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. It means a ton to me, but I'll catch you guys in the next one.